I feel nice and close. Why did you bring these? Okay, finish chewing so we can introduce ourselves. Okay. Hi. Okay. <laughs> What's up, we 20? <laughs> What's up, we 21? <laughs> that doesn't work. No, we're not 21. It's me, Jessica, and this is... Joanna! <laughs> and we're going to talk about our recent adventurous trip to go see 21 in New Jersey. <laughs> there was a lot of preparation that went into this. I guess For me was. at least. No, there was. There was. We got our outfits together. I spent a long time trying to figure out what I was going to wear. Me too. This is the shirt I wore under my jacket. And this is the bow I wore in my hair. <laughs> it was lovely. I don't know, we both tried to get outfits that were like inspired by 21 style. And what to wear was a huge point of stress, I think. It was. <laughs> it it really was my was. most stressful point it was for a, some reason. It was a big point of stress. It's not like they were going to see us. I know. Of course they weren't even going to see us. My outfit was inspired by the uh, Follow Me video because I really loved their outfits in that video. So I was wearing like cheetah print and I was wearing, you know, shiny pants and high heels. <laughs> shiny pants. Hey. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Four and a half hours later, and we will arrive. We left all the lights on. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? So, it is. What's the date? Uh, August 17th. <laughs> August yeah, 17th. It's the 17th. We are going to drive to Newark. Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. That's Ooh, a great. <sighs> Newark, New Jersey. To see 21. We are looking fine. We are looking so fine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's it for now. There's, I don't know, there's, that's it. That's it. That's it, let's do this. I just wanna take this opportunity to point out that Joanna eats her Arby's food really weird. Let me explain. Nobody eats like that. I took a bite from this side. <laughs> Got all the meat kinda of slid out of the side, and I don't want that. <laughs> I, was, I just don't like the unevenness of it. So I took a bite, now it's symmetrical. Well, you should take a bite right here. <laughs> no bite? Now the other side. Air. Now you are officially eating it in the weirdest way that I've ever seen anyone anyone eat one of these. So you look at mine. That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Not like that. So Jessica and I came up with a new term. It's called... A lap napkin. So if anybody's being annoying, you can just call them a lap napkin. It doesn't have a specific definition. It means everything. So, don't be a lap napkin. You see this? There's no one on this road. How weird. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. It says downtown. It's this way. What? What? I'm going where you told me to. Oh, uh, woman. She better know where she's going. Okay, we're just following the signs to downtown. She's like blocking her face with the FedEx box. Oh, no, look at that bag in the wind. What bag? Katy Perry. What? You know how Katy Perry's like, <laughs> do you ever feel like a bag floating in the wind? Oh. In one of her <laughs> Katy Perry. Look at it. Look at that bag in the wind. It's it is going Perry. crazy. Arriving at address 25 on left. Now, is that it? I uh, think that might be it. I the think so. Center. I think that's it. So can we park over here? Because I would gladly park like right here. Yeah. Sure. I cannot believe this place costs $30. Is it just, is it just like... Yeah, how much does it cost? It said $30. How you doing? Hi. Do you have a uh, no. Okay. Where the heck? Oh, gosh. Lost satellite from section. Uh-huh. Hello. Okay. What do you want to do? We should go down the money. Thank you. Level three, gotcha. Oh, I got it. You good? All right. Thirty dollars. 
dollars. Wow. I mean, that's like highway. I mean, that's what we get for like wanting to park right here, though. I can't believe it costs thirty dollars to park. Wow. Well, just... Let's just forget I'm about it. I'm having a hard time getting over that. I know I need to. Because that's crazy. But my my parking, I was I was expecting to pay like twenty. Wait, where am I? Is this level three? Oh yes, there's number three. So we got there, and we got there at like six thirty, and the concert was supposed to start at eight. And I was thinking they were probably gonna start letting people in at like seven because, you know, there were a lot of people. Yeah. But then they didn't, and then it was 7.30. You need to push the video button and records. Wow. And then it was eight, and then it was 8.30, and then it was nine, and it was starting to get to the point where we were worried if they were gonna cancel the show. Like, they were really late. I went to school in DC, I went to Howard University, and like, right? And there was no official word coming from like anybody what was the problem. I mean there were all these rumors flying around and it ended up being just technical difficulties which is what most of the rumors were but still it was kind of terrifying <laughs> that yep. they weren't letting us in. But Why then not? they did. They did eventually let At us in. 10 o'clock. It was like it was like 22. That's true. It actually started at 10. It started like at like 10, and they let us in at like 9:40. And there was no merchandise. And there was no merchandise. Honestly, more so, I don't even care about the delay. I wasn't even that annoyed. As long as the concert was still gonna happen, I didn't care that it was delayed. But the lack of merchandise, 21. That made me so sad. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Uh, so the concert, though. The concert was great. Our seats, by the way, our seats were like the third seated section from the stage. It was section 18, right? 18. Section, or was it section 20? Row 18. Oh, it was 20. Section 20, row, row 18. 18. Seat nine seats 9 and, and 10. 10. That's right, those were our seats. Those were, that's what was on our tickets. Yep. But the crowd is so great. Like, wait, wait, oh, don't sorry. skip ahead. Sorry. We gotta talk about how they showed music videos when we were, oh, yeah. got in there, because that was pretty fun. When we first walked in, they were, playing music videos. <laughs> and then we just sat kind of in the dark for a while and then the concert started. It got dark. It got really dark. And then like they started playing some noise. Yep. <laughs> Suspenseful noise. Suspenseful noise. And then they opened with I am the best, which was really I cool. I was freaking Although out. I was surprised that they chose to open with that. I don't know, it worked though. I mean everybody I was it. super hyped up. No, I didn't say I didn't like it. I didn't I didn't say that. I liked it. Okay. I liked it. I was just surprised. I thought maybe they would leave that one more towards the end. And I loved the excitement. When they first started playing, when they first came out, I almost wet my pants with excitement. It was so she good. She did. She was like freaking out. I was freaking out. I was like, ah! <laughs> like, I'm, I was screaming hardcore. <laughs> if I would, I'm... What were you like again? Can you do it one more time? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm glad nobody was like filming me because it was very embarrassing. And I might have been crying too, I don't know. That's my favorite 21 song. It's the best. So, it was pretty cool to open with. And then it, take, it took some of the suspense out too, because a lot of times when you go to a concert and you're like waiting to hear your favorite song, there's always that suspense, are they even gonna play it? I mean, not that that would have even been the case at this concert since they played, I'm pretty sure they played every single song they've released. Yeah, they did. So Joanna, awesome. <laughs> what are what were your favorite moments of the concert? You think? I or really which, loved. Oh, just whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. The whole thing. The whole thing. But oh. I really liked when oh. um when CL was in her little DJ booth. I know, right? She, that was probably she was my in favorite this part little, of the whole like, concert. Light up cage that went up to her waist with like a little DJ thing, and then she like. It hoisted her up in the air on this little pole, <laughs> and then she was like doing this little DJ. And she was jamming and, and she was dancing. like, "Oh, this one's my favorite." She was so cute. She was so cute, and oh. her set was actually pretty good. And it turned the whole place kind of just into a dance party. It did. I liked Mimsy's like dance with those dudes. Oh, her little dance solo. She just solo. came out and danced mm -hmm. to those songs. Mm -hmm. I was like, "You go, Mimsy. You go, go, girl." She's a really good dancer. Yeah. I really liked, actually, I think some of my favorite times during the concert were when they played songs that I wasn't necessarily expecting them to play. Because even though by the end of the concert it was evident that they were just playing everything, at the beginning of the concert you don't really expect them to play, like, all of their songs. Yeah. And so when they played, like, Pretty Boy, I got really excited. And when they played, um, Let's Go Party, 
I got really excited. Let's go party. Cause and that's we're like my jam. <laughs> I think probably the song that like the whole place got the most hyped about was when they played I Love You. Oh, and we brought we had little scarves on our wrists we that we were dancing we with. Were dancing like with how our they scarves. dance in the I dance tutorial. We were video. cool. We, we were, were cool. we were really cool. I didn't cool. see anybody else with little <laughs> scarves. That's right, we were the only ones. I'm sure there was somebody else there with a scarf. No. This is definitely one of the best concerts I think I've ever been to. I mean, I haven't been to too many pop concerts, really. Actually, that I think that was probably the first pop concert that I have specifically paid to go and see. I usually go to, to rock concerts. But it was just the quality, like the quality of everything. Of their singing, of the dancing, of the band. The band was awesome. The dancers, the backup dancers were awesome. The, the stage and the whole setup was really great. Mm -hmm. So then after the concert, we thought maybe then they would have put out the merchandise and we could go get something, but there was still, there nope. was no merchandise. So we just went and we decided to go stand by the side of the Prudential Center and see if we could like wave goodbye to 21 as they drove away yeah. in their van or bus or whatever. Joanna, why don't you tell them how that went? I mainly was the one that wanted to wait a long time. I think Jessica was getting a little impatient with uh, the whole situation. Normally, like under normal circumstances, I have no problem waiting for bands. In fact, I prefer to do it. The only issue was we, we were kind of under a strange constraint in that I had a rental car. The rental car had to be returned the next morning at 10 a.m. to Frederick, Maryland. And we were in Newark, New Jersey. And it was like a four and a half hour drive and the concert didn't end till midnight and so we were pretty much gonna have to just drive straight through because if we got a hotel it would only be for like two or three hours and I had to get the car cleaned out and everything before I returned it so we waited and it started to rain it started to rain very a lot. hard yeah it was raining a lot and so we were like under this little you know over, awning know. yeah like this it was part thing. of the parking garage half an hour goes by 45 minutes goes by an hour goes by it's almost it's probably one in the morning it, it was like 12.45, I think. Joanna, what are we doing? We're waiting for 21! And it's cold. And, uh, and it's raining. And it's cold and it's raining. And we've been waiting for like how long? Oh, that was a big lightning. Yeah, that was a big lightning. How long have we been waiting? I don't know, like 45 minutes. Like, I feel like it wasn't that long. No, no it was. I looked at my watch. It was 45 minutes. It's, right it's like it's like 12:45 right now. It's it's midnight 45. Joanna doesn't care about anything. She doesn't care that she's completely soaked. She doesn't care that we've been standing out here in the rain for 45 minutes. She doesn't care about any of it. That's fine though. It's good that one of us can be so carefree. I'm okay too. I mean, except that we have like a four and a half hour drive, and it's um, almost one in the morning. We'll see how that's gonna go. We might be dead. Like all these cars are leaving. Like vans with tinted windows, a couple of buses, like a bunch of cars are leaving and we're waving at all of them because we can't tell. We're just and, like, and then we look and see if anyone waves back because you would think like yeah. if they saw some fans. They'd be like, ah, who are obviously like standing honk, in the rain, you know, they crazy. would like wave or Open something. Open their windows real quick or something. And then this one car came out and they stopped. They really, they stopped right by us. Yeah. And they honked, but like you couldn't really see anybody waving, and you could see someone in the back like playing with a Game Boy or some kind of handheld, some kind of handheld glowing device. And that was probably at like 12:45. And then around one, I called it. I was like, "We gotta go. We gotta get on the road. We're not gonna get back till super late." Yeah. And so we went and got in the car, and when we came back down, like all the people had left, but one of our friends was still there. And so we asked her. We're just like. Did they come out? Did we miss it? Like right when we left, did they come out? And she's like, actually, you remember that car that honked? That apparently was them. So it was, was kind of it was kind of anticlimactic. Like at least, hey, we were successful. Technically, we waved goodbye to 21. We saw them and leave. They probably saw us. Somebody probably did. But whatever. I mean, what can you do? And so then it was time to drive back. Make the journey. We're back from the concert. It's actually four in the morning. Um, we're trying to drive all the way from New Jersey to Maryland in one thing. We were gonna stay at a hotel, but we decided to just do it. So it's four in the morning. Jesse's getting some gas, and we're at a gas station. Yeah, we don't look too pretty. My hair is really bad. Oh, but yeah, we had some hot chocolate, so we're doing pretty good. Woohoo!
It was so worth it. And we we did pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. We stopped we, a couple times. Yeah, we stopped like once an hour or so. And we ended up getting back into Frederick at like 6.30 in the morning. We pretty much just like talked about the concert the whole time. <laughs> pretty much. And we listened to all of 21 songs. And we just listened to 21 Probably the whole times. way. Yeah, the whole way back. That's all we did. So that was a long couple of days. That was crazy. <laughs> totally worth it, by the way. Okay. What's up with 21? <laughs> What's up with 21? Just What's kidding. What's up with 21? Although I will be turning 21 in June. Shut up. <laughs> then I can it. say that. Joy What's up, I'm 21? That's right. You totally can and you should too. That should be your birthday video. What's up, I'm 21? <laughs> that would be so What's funny. What's up, I'm 21? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else to talk about? Uh... How about getting these things away from me? I put them over here and then you reach over and grab them. Again. I know! Get <laughs> that one over there. Why did you even bring them outside? I don't know. I hate you. Don't hate me. I hate you. Eat rats. Oh, why? We're done. This interview is over. No, it's not over. <laughs>